Welcome back Troglodytes to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglis Guitar Show. In today's unboxing episode, I'm going to take you on an intergalactic journey. Starting with this one, I was kind of a hired gun asked to find this guitar for this particular person in an undisclosed location. And it was kind of fun buying one of these things again because it was going to tie in perfectly with the review that I released not too long ago. And let me say, quite the interesting pack job on this one. But this one came to us all the way from Ecuador. Here we go, all the way from Ecuador with love. What is inside this PRS gig bag? I don't think it should be too hard for you guys to know. It's either one or two finishes, and I already reviewed the other one. We get another Nebula. Oh man, seeing this for the second time here, getting to feel it. Oh yes, this is what I remember liking here. Oh, that's nice. Looks like we got some light scratches on this one. Nothing too crazy. But here's that limited edition Nebula that we reviewed last year. This was the big 2020 NAMM show guitar that got people crazy. And I was going to save it so we have a nice side-by-side -side look at the Lunar Ice. But once again, I just wanted to get that video out as soon as humanly possible. Because I know people were searching for it and wanting it. But now that I'm feeling this in person again, PRS, they have this... It's like a gloss, but it's not a full gloss on this. It's really hard to describe this feeling, but this is what I was expecting on the rest of that other lunar ice. So for today, as our intergalactic adventure, I wanted to compare them side by side real quick. And if I can't have it for the full review and demo, we might as well have it in an unboxing video. So here we go. Lunar ice, kind of that purple, blue, lavender, a little bit of green going on, and then the original nebula that everybody lost their minds over. It's got the darker purple into that dark blue. I think this is the first time we've ever seen them side by side. I think it's definitely worth having it as like a, a collection piece here. You know, one of each, they kind of complement each other. But the feel of the necks, so different. I mean, just look at that. How like yellowed this one looks because it's a slightly tinted lacquer. And then this one, it's completely bare. I wonder if it was also a cosmetic choice that they left this just satin. But I really was not expecting that to, you know, be a difference. So you guys will have to let me know, is that how all of the PRS maple neck ones are? And I just didn't realize it. But what a nice looking pair here. So my Lunar Ice, as of recording this, it's still available, but no, the Nebula is not for sale. It's already been spoken for. Again, I was a hired gun to find it. And let me tell you, it's getting kind of difficult to find these Nebulas for not crazy prices that are like seven, 8,000 bucks. This one's got some nice flame figuring right up here in like the first to third fret positioning, but then you get a bunch of like mineral streaks and stuff in the wood. But this must have been one of the earlier nebulas. It actually has a 2019 serial number. But I've got to say, I definitely prefer this slightly lacquered feel. I mean, the satin finish has its own place, but if you're not expecting it, it definitely catches you off guard. So cool, let's go ahead and uh, get these guys packed up and I need to open up the hard shell case for this one. If anything, I would say it's almost too tight of a fit. That's definitely further proof that my little strap button on that other one got sunken down just a hair, but if anything, it makes it fit in the case better. Oh, that's funny. The date on this one is 11320. Wow, that's a really early one. Come to think of it, wasn't that the same date on this one? <laughs> one year apart. What's the odds of that? 11321. That would make a nice set for someone.
Okay, moving on, we actually have a sponsor today. Big thank you goes out to gothic.com. That's gothic without the O, gthick.com. The manly man's jewelry, as I've been saying. So these guys have been a big sponsor of the channel. Apparently US Customs opened this package because they thought this sounded a little bit suspicious. <laughs> and an unlabeled black package like this, I guess I could see why. But inside here, we have some more of their jewelry. Let's see what they sent me this time. We have the Ace of Spades pendant. I think they gave us a little chain right here so you can put this on as a necklace or just use it as decoration. I don't know where my little skull guy went. He must have fell somewhere. That's always been my favorite one of theirs. Looks like we also get Thor's hammer maybe or some sort of an ax. I don't always understand the uh, backstory behind all these, but the commenters in the comment section usually do. And next up here, we get some more animal themes because they always ask me which ones that I want. And I always choose like the animal theme ones because that's what I like. So we get like a little snake ring guy here. I like that one. Our next one is just a bear like pendant. We've also got a couple of more snake guys. And this one, it's uh, octopus tentacles. And lastly, it looks like a, a maritime scene. It's kind of hard to see, you know, with all the fine details, you gotta appreciate this one in person. So if you are interested in purchasing anything from gothic.com, you can use the discount code that is in the description. Thank you for sponsoring today's episode. Now let's get on to some more unboxings. And for our last unboxing today, let's go ahead and do this one. I actually bought this guitar quite a while ago. It's just kind of been waiting to get unboxed. But every year, Gibson does this. If you buy something directly from their website, I think over a hundred bucks, they have these limited edition ornaments. And I've always wanted one, but you know, I'd never really bought off a of Gibson's direct website. This came from their demo shop and they just happened to include it. Not sure, it's a little bit cheesy. It's just a Gibson headstock that the, the proportions aren't necessarily right as far as, you know, this logo thing right here. <laughs> but it says 2020. It'd be nice to have like a little collection or something. It's a nice little thing. They probably just make it out of scrap wood. It looks like mahogany that they use for the backs. It's quite thicker than I thought it was going to be. I just imagined it to be like a really thin sheet, like veneer type thing, but no. But what sleeps in here, I was actually kind of happy to see it. I don't think I'll do a full reviewing demo, but it was such a great deal on the demo shop, which, you know, it's not always the case that you get a good deal on the demo shop. Some things are a better price than others, but this one, I think they priced it just a hair too low. So inside here is like a super ultra fancy SG. Oh wow, oh wow. Whoa. Very, very happy with this purchase. I mean, I know it's sitting kind of weird in the case, but that's just how it goes. Check this thing out. That top is insane. The natural finish looks pretty good on this. So this is an SG Supra. I did an old Rock or Not episode on these if you want to learn a little bit more in-depth detailed information. But what makes it kind of cool is it's an all maple SG. Two pieces. There's no top. It's just, you know, pieces. What? Okay, so what it looks like they've done is it's actually four pieces of maple. You get one piece right here, one piece there, but then it's like sandwiched down here and you get two additional pieces. So it's four pieces of maple all glued together to look all beautiful like this. I mean, top and back super heavily flamed, but then they give you all these tonal opportunities. So you get three pickups. I mean, that's pretty good all on itself, but you're gonna notice that's a really strange looking little switch. Like you can move it, you can twist it. What's that all about? There's a built-in ghost piezo system in here, so you can get acoustic tones. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that, but there's a little wire that runs under here. So you can blend that acoustic with the electric. You can just have electric. I mean, these were very highly advanced guitars. And it kind of reminds you of like a Supreme with the Supra inlay at the top. It's got the globe. I mean, this is a really nice looking guitar. I kind of wish I would have uh, waited just to unbox it and go and check this out, Locking Grover Tuners, stock from the factory. But this is new old stock 2013, lightly marked as a demo for the Gibson demo shop. That's a nice looking guitar now that I've had one in person. 
but being a 2013 that does make this a rich light fretboard so that would be the only downside depending on how you feel about rich light a lot of people like it all right troglodytes that's enough unboxing for today i mean lots of cool stuff let's go ahead and uh pack a few things up the factory freak I figured, you know, making a video as a review and demo of this model and it not having the right pickups would kind of be counterproductive. So maybe if I have some time, I'll pick up another, another one of these. But you'll actually see this on uh, some other guy's YouTube channel. He said he wanted to buy this to compare it to one that was stock. So, hey, if you search for it in the future, you just might find that video. And this one was part of my great sell-off. If you want to know why I decided to sell a whole bunch of stuff without going through with the reviews, it's simply because it's like a, a mental thing. Like, I cannot physically function knowing I have 40-plus guitars waiting for a review. I will never get caught up as a one-man operation. So, at the end of the year, I just decided to kind of clean house, try to start as fresh as possible. But the reason why I didn't want to review this one is because I had to take the original Tim Shaw's out of it. And I had to do that to restore my Aldo Nova. And I did the Aldo Nova review first, so I don't want to review something that's not, you know, for the most part, 100% original, at least for the electronics. Otherwise, it's just giving the uh, DC Les Pauls kind of a bad name. Okay, troglodytes, I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing and boxing episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Visit our sponsor, gothic.com, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.